categories of neonatal sepsis have been defined. Early onset neonatal sepsis, in short it is written as EOS and late onset neonatal sepsis called as LOS. Now many of you might be thinking, okay, sir, we already know this, why are you repeating it? It's not the rare things which bring us down, it's the known things which bring us down. It's not your uh, enemy which betrays you, it's always your close friend which betrays you when, whenever you are in a war. And uh, so in neonatal sepsis, the types of sepsis, causative organisms, what is latest. If you get a question on this, uh, I've seen people get them wrong only because they did not bother to revise thinking I am MD pediatrics, I know neonatal sepsis. Yes, you may know, but this is a summary video and you have to go through this video before the exam. So, type of neonatal sepsis, you would already know early onset and late onset. Now, the definition of early and late onset is different in Western world and in WHO and in India. In India, as well as WHO guidelines, we take 72 hours as the cutoff after birth, whereas in the Western world, we take 7 days as the cutoff. Now, 7 days again is problematic and recently, if you look at their latest guidelines, they are also moving in terms of uh, 72 hours as well. So, uh, we will follow the definition given by WHO and what is followed in AIMS and PGA protocols. So, early onset sepsis is when the onset of sign and symptom occurs within 72 hours of birth. Onset. Onset means it should, the first sign and symptom should appear within 72 hours. It can continue for n number of days, but the first sign and symptom should be visible within 72 hours, that is early onset. When the onset of sign and symptom occurs beyond 72 hours of birth, that is what we call as late onset sepsis. There is no specific organism difference between early and late onset sepsis, but uh, early onset, late onset sepsis, the source of infections are very different from each other. So what are the source of infection in early onset sepsis? There are two sources of infection. First of all, it will come through the maternal genital tract and second will be the local delivery area, wherever the child has been born. In late onset sepsis, the source of infection will be hands of caregivers and it can come from the local nursery environment. Now you can get a question in the exam. It is an old MCQ already asked uh, quite in the distant past that in India what is the most common source of infection? In India, the most common overall source of infection for neonatal sepsis is hands of caregivers. Whenever a young child is born, he is premature, he is low birth weight, he will be at risk for sepsis. In India, childbirth is considered as a festive occasion. Obviously, it is a festive occasion, but at the same time, you should restrict the number of people handling the child because not you cannot ensure that all people will be following the hand hygiene things. So whenever in Indian setting, you will have a child being born, there will be people coming to visit, you will, they will pick up the child, they will give uh, you know a token money which is considered auspicious. Uh, in North India, we call it as Shangun Kalifapa. It may have uh, a lot of money, it may have simply a 10 rupee, uh, 11 rupees uh, uh, token money for the child. That is a gift from them. But they not only bring gift, they also bring sepsis. Because what they'll do is they'll pick the child, they'll not wash their hands and they will put their fingers in the mouth of the child. Very common scenario. The same finger which has been put at inappropriate places and is filled with all the bacteria, viruses, fungi, etc. So baby also gets a risk of sepsis. Ensuring hand hygiene, ensuring minimal handling of the child, particularly vulnerable population and restricting at least in the first few days in high risk babies, the number of visitors, these are small little things which can go a long way in preventing neonatal sepsis. Neonatal sepsis is fairly common and if you look at Cloherty and Nelson uh, as well as the uh, every, they give various percentages. You are not supposed to remember all percentages but you can remember that some degree of neonatal sepsis develops in 10% of all neonates which includes term babies as well. So some degree of neonatal sepsis either early or late develops in 10% of all neonates. In case of very low birth weight and extremely low birth weight newborns, the risk may be 4 to 5 times higher than this, right? So these are the two types of sepsis, early onset and late onset sepsis.